Hi guys, good evening. This is Mr. Typhoon, Mike Padua, and we are back to our latest weather analysis for this Friday through Monday, November 25 to 28, 2022. And this is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update. Here's the latest graph set we issued uh, this evening, Friday, November 25, until tomorrow, Saturday. You still have the easterly surface wind flow, but it's only concentrated along Calabarzon, Metro Manila, Bicol region, Indoro, Marinduque, Romblon, the Visayas, as well as Northern Palawan and the Calamian group. So these areas will have good weather with some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. It's quite that dry right now in various sections of the country because of a small ridge of high pressure just below this frontal system where in our uh, atmospheric pressure or barometer of our Davis weather station recorded a high atmospheric pressure of 1015 uh, around 8 a.m. this morning or uh, yeah 8 a.m. of uh, Friday so it's quite high and normal atmospheric pressure is around 1012 to 1013 so we have a mini ridge right here so it's bringing some good weather across uh, Luzon and let's enjoy this good weather because in the next few weeks uh, whenever there's a uh, northeast monsoon or the uh, shear line we expect again rainfall to occur in various sections of uh, Luzon and uh, over in Mindanao the usual thunderstorm activity will be expected we have here uh, around 8 p.m. since it's already 11 30 8 p.m. over some Vanga Peninsula there are some showers and thunderstorms that are being felt over that area uh, for the past few hours and uh, outside of PAR we are monitoring two uh, low pressure systems which is not expected to uh, intensify into a tropical cyclone but this one at the back 90W is worth watching because it may develop into a weak tropical depression but so far the reliable computer models European model and the US model shows it just a low pressure system passing over southern Mindanao over southern portions of Davao region or in the vicinity of Soxygen and Jensen and it will uh, traverse the uh, offshore areas of uh, Bangsamoro, Basilan, Holosulu uh, sometime between December 1 to 2 and it is expected to intensify into a tropical cyclone or tropical storm with a fast mo movement across the southern tip of Palawan towards southern Vietnam so uh, the effects of this is mainly uh, I mean the uh, fast movement and the development over the West Philippine Sea or the South China Sea is mainly due to the prevailing uh, La Nina which tend to develop low pressure systems into tropical cyclones once it reaches the West Philippine Sea or the South China Sea area that's the reason why 90W will eventually develop while uh, over the uh, southern portions of the South China Sea or West Philippine Sea so that's good news for us Filipinos since we are experiencing uh, heavy rainfall for the past few months and this is a relief since we are now entering December at Southern Fay during the middle to towards the last week of December particularly Christmas Day we don't have any tropical cyclone activity the uh, northeast monsoon will start to dig down across extreme northern Luzon uh, in the next uh, few uh, days okay particularly next week between November 29 to December 2 and uh, as the system or 90W passes over to the south of Mindanao we expect the monsoon to uh, affect Luzon so we could see or we could feel some slight lowering a slight decrease in the uh, temperature around one to two degrees uh, because at this, as of this time it's already around 29 to 31 but the heat index still a uh, high of 41 degrees okay by the way we forgot to mention 99w this system is expected to eventually dissipate as it moves across the uh, Philippine Sea within the next uh, 24 to 48 hours or through the weekend 
and this is no longer a suspect and this is the other one that we are monitoring okay so that's the latest from our um, graph set use the uh, fast animation from the university of wisconsin here's 99w still struggling to develop but only its remnants expected to bring some showers across eastern Visayas and Mindanao to the weekend or early next week and we have here the other one low pressure system 90W and uh, the zoom in satellite animation uh, as of this evening shows uh, still some thunderstorm activity across some Vanga Peninsula moving now into the uh, uh, southern portions of Sulu archipelago and it's all clear across the Philippine uh, islands, particularly over Luzon and the northern eastern sections of uh, uh, Visayas. Here's the uh, low pressure system 99W trying to organize as it moves towards the west. And uh, here's the other one LPA 99 or 90W. Okay, 90W moving westward across the uh, southern portions of Micronesia and if we take a look at the rainfall accumulation for the next three days until uh, Sunday or Monday we expect the rainfall activity to be concentrated along eastern Visayas portions of the Visayas as well as uh, some Vanga Peninsula western sections of central uh, Mindanao and Soxygena area that includes Lano provinces where uh, Marawi City is located, so expect some thunderstorms over the weekend. And uh, if we take a look at the wind forecast, and we are going to uh, show to you the track of this two low pressure system. Let's begin with the American model. Uh, by Saturday afternoon, here is the, uh, the LPA approaching uh, Yap and Palau. Sunday afternoon, it will be. Uh, it will be gone, okay? The remnants will be just over to the west of Palau. And here's the other one, LPA 90W moving towards the west. Monday afternoon, November 28th. LPA 90W is still uh, here to the south of Guam, struggling to develop. And uh, Tuesday afternoon, it will be uh, just a uh, uh, remnant low or a surface trough approaching to the south of uh, Palau and here's uh, the surge of the northeast monsoon that I'm speaking about okay and uh, Thursday December 1 remnants of LPA 90W will now pass over to the uh, south of Mindanao or over the Salab Salab Sea here's the uh, surge of the northeast monsoon Friday December 2 the northeast monsoon will start to weaken and uh, 90W is no longer there okay December 3 Saturday and December 4 it looks like it will uh, reorganize over to the south of Vietnam as an active low pressure system Monday December 5 it may develop into a tropical depression as it moves towards the southern portions of uh, Vietnam into Cambodia and we have here a possible development of a, a frontal system and the northeast will soon affecting uh, extreme northern Luzon while northeasterly wind flow or light uh, Amihan or light northeast monsoon affecting uh, the Bicol region and eastern Luzon so that's the uh, American model until December 5. Now let's uh, move and show to you the uh, European model. Um, tomorrow uh, afternoon, Saturday, here's the LPA. Sunday afternoon, it's gone. That's uh, we're speaking to the uh, LPA 99W. 90W is still there. Okay, here. Here. Okay. Monday afternoon it's still there and uh, Tuesday November 29th will start to uh, uh, elongate and will be just a shallow LPA south of Palau now uh, easterlies will continue to uh, prevail across the uh, Philippine Islands 
Bye bye until next week, November 29. Wednesday, November 30, we have here uh, uh, the remnants of 90W approaching the uh, southern coastal areas of Mindanao and uh, the uh, northeast monsoon start to move down and it's now affecting uh, extreme northern Luzon and will be affecting extreme northern Luzon on the last day of November December 1st Thursday LPA 90W is no longer there but its remnants is crossing the uh, areas of offshore Bangsamoro like Basilan and Hulosulu and northeast monsoon of extreme northern Luzon light uh, to moderate easterly winds will prevail across the Bicol region and eastern Luzon including eastern Visayas December 2 here now is uh, remnants of 90W starting to re-intensify to the west of southern Palawan so it's uh, good news still when we speak of the European model same with the US model now uh, December 3 Saturday here comes LPA 90W becoming a tropical cyclone as it approaches the southern tip of Vietnam and southern Cambodia so uh, it's uh, safe uh, already over the Philippine Islands but for these areas like uh, Cambodia and southern Vietnam it will be uh, quite stormy over the area okay mm, Saturday or Sunday December 4 there goes uh, the potential tropical storm moving into the Gulf of Thailand easterly is prevailing across the Philippine Islands northeast monsoon weekends okay and on December 5th let's move it here December 5th uh, it's back to normal across the Philippine Islands north uh, easterly winds prevailing and there's no uh, tropical cyclone formation or LPA in sight across the Western Pacific okay so far that's the latest for this uh, uh, Friday evening late Friday evening and we will return on Monday to give you more updates on the weather from Typhoon 2000 this is Mike Padua stay safe always be hashtag uh, weather wiser and uh, happy weekend to all stay safe all happy weekend happy weekend to all and thank you so much for watching our channel